Greetings and welcome to Intech. I'm Bill Jewell with Colorado Based Insulation Technology Corporation and I'm our Tech Services Department. Today our lesson is called Your Force 2. This is about where your Force 2 started, where it has ended up, and all the electrical systems in between. So let's have a look. We're going to start with the Greenhopper Force 2 that was the father or parent or whatever you would like to call of all of them. Here's a model I've got up here. Been keeping it kind of for the museum. Push sensitive switches on the uh, panel. Used a little chain drive system underneath that was pretty popular. That machine changed in in the 90s into the one you see here basically. This Force 2 has a great saying on the side, must not be plugged into same circuits and we really mean that. Uh, these machines have so much power that the agitator and the blower need their own separate circuit. Now, down here on the control panel, you'll see the rotary switches in the upper right corner we started with and a hardwired remote. That morphed into the later panel with rocker switches in the upper right and also a hardwired remote which is long gone. Then that came into this panel you see here from 05 and later. Um, and then that one uh, changed into the very latest one, the Force 2 Next Gen panel right here with the hour meter and push button switches, twist lock receptacles, that sort of thing. Now, these old machines uh, had something interesting about them for changing the seals. There used to be a cover on right over this agitator motor and there was a fan right here. When you change your seals in your Force 2, turn that fan by hand to turn the airlock over slow speed and you can stand the vein straight up to uh, take the seals out. This is what the cover used to look like before it was completely trashed. Now, let's take a quick walk into the future. Take a walk down the aisle here. I want to show you our new Storm Force HP. This uses a Force 2 high-powered blower motor. Our famous WASP agitation system. Gorgeous machine. These agitators function by turning at different speeds to condition the material. A couple of other shots, some Force 1's being built, and a really nice silver rock and blow.